Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So if you guys watched my first episode of Guy Things, you know I'm sick and tired of the dainty, flowery type products that you find on the shelves of Walmart or whatever store you buy your soaps or shampoos from. So I've been on a mission to find more manly smelling products for guys only. So that's when I ran across Duke Cannon. That's right, I ran across some beer soap, some bourbon soap, some sandalwood deodorant, and then one of my favorite products from Duke Cannon, the shampoo pucks. Let's check them out. So if you guys already know about Duke Cannon, you know they have a ton of products on their website. But these are just a few of the soaps they have to offer. But I thought they're more interesting because this is beer soap and this is bourbon soap. So I know it's tough to tell through the camera lens, but I have something to compare it to right here. My old Dove Bar. These bad boys weigh in at 10 ounces and the Dove Bar weighs in at four ounces. So these Duke Cannon soaps are very military inspired. It's just a big slab of soap. I mean, it's like a brick. And if I take out one of these Dove soaps, which I hate, and turn this back around, you can see the difference here. And then one of my favorite soap companies as of recent is the Bearsville Soap Company. And let me take this one out for you. This Bearsville, this is spiced charcoal. This is at five ounces and stacked up against the Duke Cannon, it's twice the size. So when I say these are just a gigantic slab of soap, I wasn't kidding. So yes, this beer soap is made with a hint of Budweiser. On their website it says they teamed up with Budweiser to put a little bit of their beer in these soaps. Now it doesn't smell like beer, so you're not gonna walk out of the shower smelling like you just stepped out of a bar. But if you see right here, it says warm cedarwood scent. So if you guys like the smell of cedarwood, you're gonna love this soap and smelling it yeah, it, I mean, it smells amazing. And they claim the antioxidants in the beer help clean the skin. I don't know about that, I just know it smells pretty damn good. And the next one I wanna show you guys is this big American bourbon soap. So check this out right here, it says made with 90 proof Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey from Buffalo Trace. So once again, it's just that gigantic 10 ounce bar of soap. And uh, this one so far, is my favorite and check out that stamp on there. It says Buffalo Trace. So I don't know how much bourbon they put in the soap, probably just a hint, kind of like that Budweiser soap here. But once again, it says right here, oak barrel scent. So it smells amazing. It doesn't smell overpowering or anything like that. Neither does the cedar wood, but this oak barrel scent, I'm absolutely in love with. And something else that's really cool, when you open up the flap here, it says a portion of the proceeds benefit US veterans. So that's really cool. And by the way, both of these soaps cost $9.50 a piece. All right, so the next thing I grabbed from Duke Cannon is their Trench Warfare Antiperspirant and Deodorant. This one's sandalwood and amber. I don't know if I say it enough, I love the smell of sandalwood. I use sandalwood soap, I have sandalwood beard oil. So I just had to try one of their deodorants to see what it smelled like. Now it looks like Duke Cannon has two different scents, a bergamot and black pepper, and then this one, sandalwood and amber. But then they also have a natural version of it, so they have two different options, the antiperspirant and deodorant, or natural. And no matter what scent you choose or which version, they're all 10 bucks a piece. So let's check this out. So I've used this a few times as you can see, but right there it's cracked. I'm gonna tell you how that happened. This is a very soft deodorant. I mean, I can almost just press it in. You can see my print right there. So what happened is when I first took off this cap, they have one of those clear plastic pieces that cover it. So to get that off, I started turning the bottom, raised the deodorant up, and it's so soft when I peeled off that plastic piece, it took that top of deodorant right off. So I'm like, oh hell no, I scooped it back out and I patched it back together. That's why you see that little crack right there. So if you guys don't like soft deodorant, this might not be for you, but if you guys like the smell of sandalwood as much as I do, you're gonna love this. And on top of that, I've tested this at work all day and I did not stink at the end of the day, so um, I know a lot of deodorants, you'll sweat or smell right through the deodorant deodorant, you will have no problem with this. All right, so next, Duke Cannon calls themselves the king of lather, so it's no wonder they launched shampoo pucks. So before I start talking about my own personal use, let's talk about these for a second. So each puck weighs in at four and a half ounces, and then it says right here on the front, delivers 175 washes. And then right next to there, it says it outworks five bottles of shampoo, so that's really interesting. So to get 175 washes out of this puck and now do five bottles of shampoo, it has to be super concentrated. So let me just open this one right here and check this out. It's literally 
a puck. Now I've been using one of these pucks for the last two months here, and that's this black one here. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So there's three different scents here. We have Gold Rush, we have Field Mint, then we have Barrel Char. I've been using the Barrel Char now for about two months. Check this out, let me get this out of here. Try to tear this out of my shower. So that's how much is left. So basically what you wanna do is get in the shower, wet your hands, take the puck, rub it on your hands a little bit and just start lathering your hair up and you'll have no idea how much lather you'll get out of just a few swipes with your hands until you get it into your hair. Cause at first I just had it on my hands. I was like, this isn't gonna work. Then I started lathering my head and holy crap, it was just like pouring some shampoo directly to my scalp. So that just tells you how concentrated these pucks are. So when they say I'm gonna get 175 washes out of this puck, I don't doubt that for a second. So naturally I got the barrel char first because it says it smells like bourbon and sandalwood which I absolutely love those scents together. Then they say there's argan oil in there to condition your hair and cedarwood bark oil to restore and repair. I don't know about all that, but I know this smells great and it works amazing. So once I bought this puck a few months ago, I decided to do this video. I went back and I bought all these other products that you see here. These two are brand new, but I had to use my personal stash right here because I keep trying to go to their website and buy a fresh one. I can't because they're always sold out. You can get these two with no problem, this Field Mint and this Gold Rush, but trying to get this Barrel Char has been difficult. So I'm glad I got my hands on it when I did. Now I haven't tried these other two yet, obviously, they're brand new, but this, was it, Field Mint, smells like eucalyptus and peppermint. It has that same argan oil in there to condition your hair. And then they say there's oat kernel protein in there for strength. So if you guys like eucalyptus peppermint, grab this Field Mint. And then the last one here is called Gold Rush. So it's a fresh citrus, neroli, and oak moss scent. It's also made with menthol, that same argan oil, and oat kernel protein for strength. So as of right now, they only have these three pucks, but obviously I'm gonna recommend the barrel char the most. I absolutely love this, and I can't see myself going back to normal flowery shampoo that I buy at Walmart ever again. Not as long as Duke Cannon is making this. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the products from Duke Cannon? So like I said before, I'm probably never going back to bottle shampoo as long as this barrel char shampoo puck is available. I mean, I've been using this every day for the past two months and I have over half of this puck left. So will it last the 175 washes as they claim? I'm not sure, but it's gonna be pretty darn close. The deodorant I absolutely love, but for me, might be a little too soft. So I think I'll stick with my current deodorant. And then lastly, the beer soap and that bourbon soap. Um, they smell amazing. I wanna smell all the soaps that they have here on the website. There's a lot of them. But will this replace my Bearsville Soap Company? Honestly, no. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna still try and see if they have something that I like better than Bearsville. I mean, these are very close, but there's a few scents from Bearsville that I absolutely love. But with these shampoo pucks, they're 100% a go in my book. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!